we entered into the dark ages isn't it strange that as soon as we get the bible we entered into the dark ages up until we got a bible the gospel was spreading all over the world and then they got afraid of people interpreting it wrongly and coming up with all these weird doctrines so they thought well we're going to make the creeds so they produced creeds to say this is what we believe that was predating the bible was creeds written records of what they believed because they wanted to make sure everyone believed the same so they weren't going to go off into error well it done all right in the first few hundred years after you know gospel did spread all over the world you know there may have been a few contentious issues but pretty much the holy spirit was doing a good job and then it was like no we need to do the holy spirit's job now so we're going to make a bible so we've got a written record this is it it is fixed and finished you can't add any more or take anything away this is it well they did take it away because they took away those other other books um which is interesting and i think there are lots of truths that were written which have been lost because there's been an interpretation which has been aligned to death you know and if you you know if you're going through the dark ages and the middle ages and all this stuff there was a lot of death the black death the bonnet plague i mean all this stuff there was a lot of death so well you you expected to die and life expectancy was very low mm. you know you weren't going to live for not many people live for 60 or 70 years most people were dying in their 30s because of the conditions they had better conditions in roman times where they had roman baths and toilets they went into the dark ages and they lost all that mm. you know so it was worse they were worse off in the dark ages than they were you know in the in the first part of the century when they had a lot more understanding and all of it got lost in that darkness sadly but i do believe there's a lots of good stuff that were inspired writings and i do believe there's a lot of stuff today which are inspired writings they're just not going to ever be included in the bible are they because the bible is fixed and canonized and can't be added to or taken away except if you want to take away some of the books which they've already done thank you for watching our youtube channel we really appreciate you taking the time if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.